malado mas fi dinin wu dunya bdulun duna manin bin nawali shujaum fi ikhtiyadin waqtina min ila alislami ma tarkil muhali jawadun ikfa institut Al Madina Travel Salum Jida Sen Info International ak Tori Hatija Nia in America si njital sunyu Imam Muhammad Muntaha Saho ñolen di may emission bu mag bi Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh-huh. rahim Qala l'Imam Abdul Wahid ibn Ashir rahmatullahi alayhi fi kitabihi Al Murshid bin Wa'im ala daruri min ulumi din الإمام عبد الواحد بن عاشر one of the great fuqaha of his time said in his beautiful book المرشد المعين على الضروري من علوم الدين we want to read from this book because many of the jamaah is interested are very interested in fiqh and in fiqh questions so inshallah instead of um, going through the book we I want to go through it but you know one line two line because the book is uh, has 313 lines of poetry yeah. mm? and the first uh, uh, chapters talk about the aqida in a ahli kalam way you know we don't want to go through that we just want to start from the fiqh point of it mm? uh, when when he when it comes to fiqh point of it he uh, wants to tell us about this hadith of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the hadith of jibril in which the prophet sallallahu alaihi talks about islam iman and ihsan and from islam iman and ihsan or from iman islam and ihsan you can have the uh, aqidah or tawhid fiqh and suluk what some call suluk we call tasawuf you know you have iman islam ihsan hmm? Uh, and then in this chapter he says faslun wa ta'atu al-jawarih al-jami' qawlan wa fi'lan huwa al-islam al-rafi' qawaid al-islam khamsu wajibat wa hiya shahadatan sharq al-baqiyat thumma salatu wa zakatu fi al-qita' wa as-sawm wa al-hajj ala man istata' this is al-islam and the second part of the hadith he says it in a poetic uh, in, you know in lines of poetry uh, الإيمان جزم بالإله والكتب والرسل والأملاك مع بعث قرب وقدر كذا فغات الميزان حول النبي جنة ونيرة إحسان وأما الإحسان فقال من دراه أن تعبد الله كأنك تراه إن لم تكن تراه إنه يراك والدين للثلاث خذ أقوى عراك But we're just going to go through the first two lines فصل نطاعة الجوارح الجميع قولا وفعلا هو الإسلام ورفع This is a section on the pillars of Islam The obedience of Allah uh, the obedience of all the body limbs and speech and in actions is what the sublim islam is the sublim islam is the sublim islam the sublim islam is the sublim islam when we talk about islam we're talking about compliance al maqsud bi ta'at al jami' al jawarih wal inqiyad al inqiyad bi ha ila 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 fi'l al ma'mur wa ترك المنهي قولا كان او فعلا اسلام means that all our limbs go according to what Allah تبارك وتعالى want us to go oh, when we say we say that which he wants us to say and when we act or do we do that which when he wants us to do or act he calls al islam ar rafi' the sublime and high huh? and when we talk about the limbs we're talking about the seven limbs We talk about the seven limbs we know al jawarih sab'a al sam' al basar al lisan al yadan al rijlan al farj wal batn al sam' is not the ears it's the hair huh? not the ears but the hair itself huh? al basar not the eyes but the sight huh? the sight people some people have eyes they don't see the sight hmm? Uh, al-lisan which means the tongue al-yadan the two hands <coughs> or you call it hands or arms hands right yeah. hands huh? hands and rijlan the two feet huh? al-farj which means the private part and al-batn the stomach so whatever we say or do or put there or get out there has to do according to what Allah ta'ala wants subhanahu wa ta'ala 
He said that is Islam. Islam itself is compliance to what Allah or with what Allah Taala wants. Then he said, "Qawaid al Islam khamsun wajibat wa hiya shahadat an shartu al baqiyat." The pillars of Islam are five necessary acts, and they are number one the the shahadatan, the the two testifications which are a precondition for the rest of all the pillars. Say so the first one is a shahada or a shahadatan, and he said the shahada or the shahadatan is or are the the precondition for the rest of the pillars. You know you cannot pray without the shahada. You cannot give zakah without the shahada. You cannot do anything if you do not begin with with a shahadatan. Shahadatan is Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah they have muqtadayat. Muqtadayat shahadat an la ilaha illallah. There are required there are requirements. There are four requirements for Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah and three requirements for Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The first requirement of Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah is an la ya'budu illallah. That one does not worship any one but Allah Ta'ala. Number two, al muqtada thani, the second required act, an la yad'iya, an la yad'uwa illa Allah, wa an la yad'akila illa ala Allah. To not invoke, ask, or depend on anything or anyone other than Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. If I say that I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I worship something else, that means I don't. If I say that, if I say ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah, and then whenever I have some need, I go to something or someone else or call upon anyone or anything other than Allah ta'ala, that means that my shahada is is not is not right. Wa al muqtada thalith an la yashra'a illa Allah. That no one has to legislate for us but Allah Taala. <laughs> uh, I mean that's something else. But when we are in 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 a, in a land that is not the land of of Islam, that has other things. But there are legislations that have to do with ourselves. You know, we do not. Or follow obey any legislation but that which of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and al-muqtada rabi the fourth requirements is mahabbatullahi tabaraka wa ta'ala wa mahabbatu ma yuhibbu Allah to love Allah and love anything or anyone that Allah ta'ala loves i.e. we must love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he's the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so these are the four requirements for ashhadu an la ilaha illallah to be right to be correct to be perfect to be accepted by Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala number 1 to worship none but Allah ta'ala number 2 to invoke or rely on any one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number 3 to not accept any legislation but that which of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number 4 to love Allah and love whatever and whoever Allah ta'ala loves and there are three requirements for ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah when we say that we bear witness that Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam is the servant and the messenger of Allah Ta'ala. Number one, we uh, number one requirements an yusaddiqa an yusaddiq an yusaddaqa aw or an yusaddiq al abd Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa fi kulli ma akhbara bihi. To um, accept that whatever that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has said is truth. Hmm? You don't doubt him because you know that whatever he says it comes from Allah. He does not speak from his from, from, from his desire. When you bear witness that whatever he says is true, or that, that, that he's a messenger, that means whatever he says should be, must be true. Number two, to obey him, to obey him, when you bear witness that the Holy Prophet is the messenger of Allah, and the Messenger of Allah has to be what? Follow it as Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala says, Man yuti'a al-Rasoola fa faqala ta'ala whoever obeys Rasulullah has obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ma arsalna min Rasoolin illa li yuta'a bi idhnillah. No, no prophet has ever been sent except for him to be obeyed. You know, for, for, for him to be obeyed. Bi idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number three requirements from Muqtadayat shahadat anna Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to worship Allah, uh, to, to not worship Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala except by the hudyu, by the guidance, by the teachings of the Holy Prophet Meaning whenever we do worship Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, it has to be according to the teachings of the Holy Prophet So to summarize, whatever I said is that muqtada shahadat an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan rasulullah is that 
we do everything we do solely for Allah. And we do everything we do according to the teachings of Rasulullah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the muqtada of Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Hadha wa sallallahu ala Mawlana Muhammadin ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Jazakumullah khairan wa barakallahu lakum. Ana lan ngeen don wuti ca Makka muy jalaba muy turay muy bep accessoire buy joge Makka. Ana lu ngeen di wuti Makka lepp lo xamni da ngeen koy jeli ji ba Dubai lepp lo xamni da ngeen koy jeli ji manam fofu nga xamni mom modi ca Makkatul Mukarram amna fi nga xamni mom modi ci Salum Jidda. Salum Jidda nek fi ca 40 8 rue Fleuris Angle Paul Hall muy li nga xamni mom modi hijab yi nga xamni kat mom la jigen ñu di muro muy li nga xamni mom modi ciuray muy zamzam muy lepp lo xamni da di abaya wala sijada lepp li nga xamni mom ngeen ci bëgg ñew leen fi nga xamni mom modi 48 rue Fleuris Angle Paul Hall da ngeen bëgg li nga xamni kat mom modi oud wala ambre VIP muy parfum yu amana yoy di baye ko makkatul mukarram wala fofu nga xamni mom modi kat ci Dubai jalaba ya ngok kurus ya ngi fi mbaxane ya nga fa parfum oud ya nga fa sijada yu bax ya nga fa kamine ya nga fa lepp loy soxla te muy jugge mak te muy jugge dubai ñewal fi nga xamni mom modi salum jidda 48 rue fleuris angle paul hall marché sandaga dakar bazin yu bax sax am nañ ko bazin yu baxa 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 bax te salum jidda rawatina nak lem yo xamni ñanga jugge mak yi miel delal gaw 77 356 32 32 77 356 32 32 wala 77 562 24 24